As part of this year's H2O Summer Camp, Lakewood students got the opportunity to choose their own adventure. That lesson included learning about healthy living, keeping track of financial matters, living with physical challenges, and health literacy. So every year we choose a camp theme because it kind of helps guide the camper's reflection. And this year the theme is Choose Your Own Adventure. And on the first day I explain our interpretation of that, likening it to the chapter book series, Choose Your Own Adventure. Um, and in those books, everybody reads the same first chapter. But what happens as the story unfolds depends on your choice at the end of that chapter. You go to, a, um, it tells you what page to go to. So I said for the sake of comparison, you're in that first chapter where you're still um, playing the hand that was dealt you, but now you're getting to make some of your own choices. And like the books, um, your outcome may not be known, so your best bet is to make sure that you're building that strong foundation now in that first chapter, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're learning how to make smart choices, how to surround yourself by good people, find your passions. So we've invited North Coast, and they're a wonderful extension of our theme. Um, as the kids are emerging from their first chapter, as it were, and starting to make more of their own choices, personal health is a critical part of that decision-making process. We've also told the kids, or had them explore the idea that when they meet other people, they don't know where in the timeline of their story they are, what chapters came before. So we're trying to stretch their empathy and get them to understand that what they see isn't all there is to a person and they can't surmise a background just from one meeting of a person. In my first station, I um, we did the disability grocery shopping and it was pretty hard because I had the glasses with the stuff covering them so I couldn't see. So I had to use, um, I think I had a cane, I'm pretty sure I had a cane, and I used it to get my way around. But it was hard to find what I needed. I didn't really know what people went through, and I thought I did, but now I really know what they, they go through every day.